all right guys that's uh wraps up the uh walkthrough of dark souls 3 now now we're gonna go into the review part of it so um dark souls 3 is it's a lot of fun and it provides enough challenge for longtime souls players and new like souls players like, i've played dark souls i played all of them i've played demon souls i've played dark souls 1 i've played dark souls 2 i've played bloodborne and i enjoyed all of them and i the one thing that i have disliked about everything that fromsoft does is that um is their reuse of like enemies or things like and it's like it goes beyond fan service it's just that oh look i'm gonna do the same thing over again and call it fan service or stuff like that i've never liked the way that they do things like that because they all is in every game they reuse a lot of stuff like um they've like uh dragon slayer armor that's in the game that's been in every game since dark souls They've and it's not even it's not Ornstein anymore. It hasn't been Ornstein since the first one, so I've never liked their reuse of things like that. They they reuse and honestly, if you hear it, they reuse sounds, uh, textures, just upgrade them, and that's like that's something that has always bugged me with this game. I don't know why. I mean, it's still a good game, and it doesn't matter if they reuse it. Oh, you can buy Titanite slabs now. I have two. I don't need any more. But yeah, uh, it's I've never Watch liked that, and they reuse some of the weapons, which is usually fan favorites, like the Moonlight Greatsword, to be won this weapon every game, every game, even in Bloodborne, and it's invisible for some reason. There it is. Yeah, I think it's actually smaller in this game. I felt like the Moonlight Greatsword was bigger than this, but yeah. Uh, outside of that, I mean, there's a, a few other cons is the connectivity. Like, every time I started the game, the problem with it was... I'll just sit down. The problem with it was that whenever I tried to connect, it would do... Like, and this is just booting up the game. It would go, like, take a long time to do it or it wouldn't do it at all and say you have to play offline. So, a lot of my stuff I played offline because I had no choice. Like, I don't know, like, I've, I'm pretty sure I've shown you in one of the videos before this, like, how long it's taking me, it's taking me to reconnect. Um, I was never able to play with my friend using the password or anything, and I have to try again. It's been like, a, it's been like a couple days since I tried. Uh, we can try again. It never worked. Like, it says, like, the problem was that was our level. I was like, well, that's not the case because I restarted a whole new character, as I said in one of my videos. And we still couldn't connect. We were the same exact level. There was no changes. And again, I don't know what, like, why is like in their servers that do you have a problem. Like when you're trying to connect to people, I've been disconnected from like duels and stuff. That's happened quite a bit. I'll put up my stats for you guys so you can see what like where I am. Not like too OP, not underpowered either. Like I did decent enough damage, but of course, like. I, I was using rings for that, and th that fight I didn't do magic at all. Kind of mainly because I did summon somebody. I I think that's what kind of like when you l learn how to fight with magic. Magic again, it feels like it's always going to be an easy mode, which it kind of is as long as you can stay far enough away. Which is why, like, if people like I don't know how people do it in PvP. I've always been bad at like magic with PvP. But that's a side note and something else for another day and another series. Which probably be down in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, yeah, so, um, but the, there's a lot more pros. Is that there's a lot of there's a lot of characters. Even though there were some old ones that were brought back, like Andre and the uh, old hag from Dark Souls Two. Andre from Dark Souls One. Zeke Meyer is not. Uh, is Zeke Meyer is the original character from Dark Souls One. This one is Siegman, which is the same character just renamed. Uh, maybe it's a relative or something, but yeah. Um, also, the uh, the dragon, the the demon from the very first um, 
the the asylum demon it was on top of like where the wolf uh thing was and asylum demon's how you got havel's ring havel is in the game again too uh again i think havel's been in all of them i think i want to say all of them his armor's been in all of them but yeah uh for the pros i would have to say is again the game's a lot of fun um they like they've managed to perfect the formula that is dark souls like, and it sucks that this is the last one however there will be dlc later this year and i'm looking forward to playing it playing it for you guys um yeah and they've made they've done a pretty good job with balancing for like weapons like the bosses how much extra health they get from summoning like oh my god and like for some people when they summon four people that's a bad idea it's great that you can do it but boy is it a bad idea because the boss becomes a tank like so many people were like yes let's summon summon all the people we can and then bad shit happens then there's also people who manipulate that system like i've i got into two lobbies or two games that were like guys were just farming like for their covenants like and they would summon people to beat the people for them like it was a guy i did it was like i was in there for 15 minutes before i was like okay this is stupid like uh i didn't get i wasn't even getting anything from it, i don't think maybe i did get a sunlight medal or two but yeah he was just kept using the just dry fingers to summon invaders so then the other so then we could beat them and he gets like points for beating them I don't like that. They need to somehow find a way to fix that. Like, if you continue to use your drive fingers more than X amount of time during a certain amount of minutes, it shouldn't work anymore. Or it should just miss everyone. Like, everyone should be sent home for that. Because them doing that, they shouldn't be allowed to do. They should be on a cooldown, a multiplayer cooldown, or something like that. I don't. I guess. I and the other time was as the blue. Uh, I was doing the the dark moon uh, covenant. Again, it's on. It just was like for a few minutes. Like this, like I kept being summoned for the Dark Moon Covenant to the same game. Like I did that, and this was for like it kept doing the third, same thing for like thirty minutes. Thirty minutes back and forth to the same thing. This guy was kept going in circles, going in circles, getting invaded, getting invaded. That was stupid. Like again, I don't mind helping people. That's kind of that's why I picked that covenant to help people that get invaded because I hate invaders people don't know if people didn't know that i hate invaders i always hated them they're annoying and they're pieces of shit like you just want to make somebody's game difficult and i'm so glad they can't come in the boss because they if they could do you know how many people would be like just scumbags and just invade during boss fights yeah that'd just be shit um but other than that another pros um was level design level design was really good I think there was too many shortcuts. Like people praise Miyazaki for how how his level design is, but it kind of also seemed like he like they made too many shortcuts. Like it was too convenient. Like there's so many shortcuts in the game, it doesn't even make sense. It's like why would you build this? Build so many shortcuts into a game. Like is this was it during prohibition in this game that there are so many back doors and oh an illusory wall there's like a million of and the mimics oh my god there was a mimic around every single corner holy crap there's some chests i haven't opened because they were mimics i have to go back and do that at some point and i probably will do it like pretty soon but yeah there's a there's a lot of stuff going on in this game again level design is good too many shortcuts too many this like after a while it got redundant and you knew where to expect i'm like oh what's down this hallway probably a shortcut it is a shortcut yeah um i i like the weapon upgrades uh i like the weapon choices period and like for people who don't know i'm like a serious like weapon collector i usually get like i okay i like that they get, let you do the ball soul transponding early even though it's an optional boss i like that they let you do it early because usually in dark souls like one and two you have to go a while before you can find people that make weapons and even in even in demon souls you have to go a while before somebody could turn your ball souls into weapons i always saw it took a really long time to figure that stuff out and because i used to hoard ball souls like if you watch any of my old videos from dark souls 2 i was like i was hoarding those souls for weapons or spells or something useful and dark souls 2 
I played that, I beat that game like four or five times, and I almost had every spell and every weapon from a boss. And that was like, that was like one of the things I like doing. I like the collecting stuff that you can have from this game. Uh, if you like, like you can spend a ton of ton of time figuring stuff out here. Uh, usually the boss fights aren't as easy as I made them seem for the past couple ones. That uh, they don't tend to be that short or that easy um, for some cases. Like the Soul Ascender, I think even without Yuri, I still could have beat him as long as I wasn't trying to so hard to use magic. Because that's basically what caused the problem was me trying to use magic. But that's and that's one good thing I like about the NPCs. They don't do a lot of damage, and they I don't they used to do like good damage in Dark Souls Two, and a little bit of damage in Dark Souls One. But in here, it didn't seem like they did enough damage t to matter. They are more of a distraction, and which that is something I like. That's the only good thing about summoning. Like I don't summon summon uh, people for damage purposes. I summon them as a distraction because my character was made was basically a battle mage, but relied more on the mage part. So it was fun to be able to have, summon somebody don't worry and like like there are some people who would just hide and just like you finish off the balls in fact there's a glitch in the game for like the dancer where you can fight and kill her like as soon as you get to her it's ridiculous and overpowered you can be dancer can be the first person you beat before vort she can be the second boss in the game if you chose to and you could beat her without lifting a finger like you just let somebody else do it for you well you let a specific NPC I'm not gonna tell you who you guys can probably figure that out for yourself but yeah um great level design I did like the I like the characters the characters had a pretty interesting story but it was like you really have to go look up everything to figure out what does what how do you get what ending and stuff like that um I've never liked games like that. Like, The Witcher kind of was, like, the same way. Like, one conversation I had with Siri made her die at the end. The one, the one, I did, everything else right except for that one conversation. Everything else. But that one conversation, she died. And I think on, like, when I was recording it, I died, like, five times in a row because I didn't pick the right conversation combos, which they're not supposed to be anything that affect you at that part. But whatever. Um, not talking about The Witcher Three. We're talking about Dark Souls Three. Um, uh, talked about the weapons. Talked about the level design. What else is there? Oh, there's one thing I, else I don't like. Was that vitality, vitality, and endurance are separate in this game. Like endurance used to level up both stamina and carrying capacity. Now there's a, they added an extra stat. No, actually, two stats. They added luck and vi like I think they added luck and vitality back into the game. I think luck was a thing in Demon Souls. I think I haven't played Demon Souls in a long time. But yeah, um, I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the new characters. I enjoyed the going to different places. Um, some enemies were useless in a sense. Some enemies were overpowered, but I don't know if that was just because my def my armor wasn't great. That's also a thing that you can't upgrade armor, which is a good and bad thing. Good thing because you can wear whatever you want. And kind of like Bloodborne, which is in essence a thing that they pulled a lot from every every game that FromSoft have worked on. You can tell because they put it in every other game. That's one of their, that's what I feel is one of their flaws. Because they rely on you playing another game to get or like whatever else they've worked on to get the stuff get like stuff from this like the moonlight greatsword is from i think i forgot what the forgot what it's a series that mizaki worked on is uh is it rage or something like that and or no 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 it's from it's from other from soft games moonlight greatsword is in another game like from years ago i don't remember what it's called they but outside of that, um, pretty good game. My my final review score, if I had to give it one, I give it a nine. 
it would be a tad, but again, I don't like when I don't like when any game company reuses heavily reuses old stuff from old games because then some part of me feels like I don't know if it's fan service. Like if it's a little bit, it's fan service. Like Zeekman was that was fan service. I I can 100% that was fan service. The basically the other Artoriuses, the hell the fact that you can get Artorias armor, fan service. But like. The other stuff like the uh, the skeleton guy, it was basically a large Nito. That wasn't fan service. That was just really user. They they made a there were a lot of bosses where they made them difficult by adding enemies. Like and there was a uh, ones that they made easy by giving them gimmicks. Like if you want to beat Yorm, you just use the sword. You want to make it challenging, you can just fight him with a real weapon. And the f- before I had the sword, like I don't know if I put it if it was still in the video or not. It was I did I used I I got him to like a four I got a fourth of his health down. And Yorm has like what I was told is like twenty five thousand health. Got him down to a fourth, so I was impressed with myself before dying because I was do- I was doing poor dodging and I had no idea how to fight him. But yeah. um there's a lot of gimmicky stuff in there, so that's why it's not a ten. It's like the reuse of old like things or like old fighting types or generic like stuff that they've used in every game. Some people like that, but there's the part where it was less fan service and more lazy, I guess. Like you just wanted to reuse it so you didn't have to do something else, or you can be cheap. Like if we reuse the same property for something. It saves us money, and somebody will be like, oh, they did that because it's for fan service. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it really, they're just cheap, and they really want to reuse some stuff. Which, I have no problem with it, but don't cover it up as fan service. Again, um, Dark Souls, great game. I plan on doing more of it. plan on doing the DLC when it comes out, and I plan on doing maybe some challenge runs of it. And with challenge runs, you can't summon people, so... I don't know if I'm still going to do the Grim Reaper thing because that was going to be my next playthrough. But it seems like it's kind of sucky, honestly. The sides are slow. They are really slow and I don't want to use them uh, because of how slow they are. Um, Maybe a bow only run. Or I was thinking a really cool run like Calamity Ring where you take double damage. The Calamity Ring and uh, the other ring you get from beating Champion Gundyr is like... Uh, what is it? It's like, what is there any, the chain, like, I was going to do this, this one, uh, do this ring, because you take more damage with that, and that, and I'm not even that great at the game, but it'll make you learn how to dodge better, so could you imagine this taking double damage no matter what armor you're wearing, plus this one where you take slightly more damage, like you take about half your damage? That would be the longest challenge run ever. I've never seen anyone do a challenge run with like the calamity ring on, but I think that'd be a pretty cool one. Um, I think that the next one would definitely not have to do with. I wouldn't be using my magic. I wouldn't be using spells as much. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um. Again, like I said, more Dark Souls soon. I've done some PvP stuff. I haven't uploaded yet. But by the time this come out, they probably, several of them would have been uploaded by now. So I hope to see you guys back here for the DLC and any other Souls-related thing or any other game, period. Because there's a lot of games coming out. Uh, at the time of recording this, um, Battleborn came out this week. Uh, the other one, the, um, the one that everybody thinks Battleborn copied off of, by Blizzard, um, Overwatch. They didn't copy off for Blizzard. They didn't. Uh, that com- that comes out next week, and I have the whole week off, so I don't know if I'm gonna record or not. I'm gonna finish my playthrough of Fallout 4. Still haven't beat it. And it's been out for damn near a year. So yeah. Um, again, I hope you guys see you guys back on the channel. Uh, um, hopefully we can continue. Uh with more series that you guys like um again i'll see you guys next time ice king out